The time is finally here. Cherry Republic harvested the season's very first crop of Montmorency tart cherries. Mm -hmm. You're looking at it right That's here. That's right. We have some of it. And uh, this uh, jar was, the cherries were harvested on the 5th jarred on the 6th, which was yesterday, so this is very fresh. 24 hours after cherries were picked, they are now being made into the freshest jam of the year, as we just told you. The 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. Reagan and Stephanie join us from the Cherry Republic factory with a behind-the-scenes look. Production of this jam happens only once a year, and I'm here with the president of Cherry Republic, Bob Sutherland. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me all about this jam. What is it? Okay. This is our 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. And uh, it's an exciting moment for Northern Michigan because this is the first thing produced out of this whole entire crop across Northern Michigan. So this will be the first chance of anyone to try you know, our special Michigan Montmorency cherry and how this 2019 crop is. It's exciting, we've been doing this for a couple years. It's become bigger and bigger every year. And really, it's a chance to celebrate our cherry crop. This is our moment where this cherry got picked yesterday. It got uh, processed, pitted, uh, cooled enough, and then we brought it here this morning and we're making it into jam. So this was picked yesterday out in the field, and this morning we're making it into jam. And this afternoon, or no, maybe in just an hour, we'll be driving this to uh, Glen Arbor and to Traverse City and to Holland and all of our stores so everyone can have some jam right there warm from the kettle. All right, we're about to enter and get a behind the scenes look. So Bob, go ahead and give me an overview of what's happening right now. Okay, here's what's happening on this side is, this is the jars uh, coming off of the line. They're about to go to the labeler and we can start and we'll show you the kettles where it's coming off right now. So how long does this usually take? about a half hour in the kettle cooling well you know what bob i think we're gonna have to leave everyone on a cliffhanger because they're gonna have to tune in the next 30 minutes to see how the production process begins from the tree to the jar, the 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves from Cherry Republic is the first batch of jams from the season's first cherry harvest this year. And all year long, people anticipate the moment they're able to get their hands on the jar, still warm from the kettles. Reagan and Stephanie join us from the Cherry Republic factory in Empire to see how it all begins. The cherries in this kettle was picked yesterday and now i'm here with bob sutherland the president of cherry republic okay so tell me the process of how we make the preserves yeah so these came in we filled this uh, up with fresh cherries added a little sugar Ooh. and some pectin and now we're warming it up to temperature what does the temperature have to be at temperature i think it's up to 220 degrees oh. How long are they usually in the kettle for before they go to their next step? About a half hour. Half hour, so it's not very long. Not long at all. How many batches of this will you make? Oh my gosh, I think we'll do six batches of these. You can see we have six kettles here, and we will make through the day 2,000 jars. 2,000 Maybe 4,000 jars. Is this one of those products that as soon as it hits the shelves, it's gone instantly? It, uh, it goes really quick. Yeah. So here's some, this was just, uh, these are one of the last ones put in. And that is, look at the color of our Montmorency. This is Michigan's pride, our Michigan tart cherry. Wow. So is this jam, is it gonna be sweet or a little bit, is it really sweet? This is, what's great about the Montmorency is it's kind of a sweet sour, oh. you know, it's packed with that flavor. We call it our ruby red morsels of joy. <laughs> I love that. And then the Nouveau Jam, why is it called Nouveau? Nouveau is French. And we're kind of taking this from the French uh, activity where in France they have this big deal where they will rush grapes from the, uh, the vineyards and make wine out of it. And who can get it to the market fastest? So we're doing the same thing with cherries. We're rushing them from the orchards making them in a jam and getting them to our customers as fast as we can. Well, thank you so much. If you are interested in the process and or how you can get your very own jar, head to our website, 9 and 10 newscom 
and we got two jars of that ourselves. So thank you for. No, sending I us got over. two oh, jars. Adam. <laughs> oh wait, I was supposed to give one of those to you. <laughs> Adam's gonna be running out of here even, at nine oh one. I don't in his bag. even know if we're allowed even to have those because <laughs> those might be for Stephanie and Reagan. We'll have to ask yeah. them. But for mm. now, I've got them right here. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll share with Michael. Possession is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the other tenth? I don't know. <laughs> and it's time to pick up the freshest jam of the year at any of the Cherry Republic locations, but hurry before it's too late. The 2019 Montmorency Nouveau preserves were picked on August 5th. Jarred 24 hours later, we, oh, have, we have some, some of right the jars here. right here, and right. then taken to the store that very day. Reagan and Stephanie are giving us a behind the scenes look at how they're making it. We are now making the next batch of the preserves. I'm here with Ronnie. Okay, what's happening right now? So this is the preserve, and you're stirring it as the pump is starting to pull the product. It's going through the manifold here, and then it goes up. Scott's turning the pump on right now. It goes up to this manifold and into this heated hopper here. And then it comes through and goes into our jar filling line. Wow. All right, well, let's go ahead. Am I okay to put this right here? Okay, we'll have him come and take my position. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on. Perfect. Okay, so what's happening over here? Okay, so we're lining all the glass up. This glass has been washed and sanitized. It now goes to this line where it's filled. We fill six jars at a time. How long will it take this process, this next level? So we will um, process three petals, and from start to finish will be about 45 minutes, including the ride on the cooling tunnel. This is a jar rejector, so if the cap is not seated appropriately, this will push the jar onto this small conveyor table. Then the jars get inverted here. So they go through this process where they start right side up and they turn upside down. Why is that? So that helps to sanitize the head space and to make sure that the entire unit has the same temperature so that it's um, for sanitation and sealing. How important is making sure everything is temp like up to temperature? It is the most, one of the most critical things. Especially with this product, we want to make sure that, that temperature stays. It takes a ride on this conveyor here for two minutes before it goes, goes through a reverter process here where the jars are reverted back and then it goes on this cooling tunnel and if you look you can see that the cooling tunnel is moving very slowly and it rides on here about 40 minutes very hot Ooh, product very hot warm. i feel like it could melt my gloves yes you wow. could and then when you get all the way to the end it goes through the um the process of labeling how many do you think that this batch will make this will make three petals, um, about 875 jars. Wow, that is so, how exciting is this for you? Yeah, it's great. This is our favorite day. We love this day. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing this day you. with us. As thank you are you. looking for more information on how you can get a jar for yourself, head to our website, 9in10news.com. Right now, Cherry Republic is busy making their freshest jam of the year, the 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. The jam is made from the very first cherries harvested this season. 25 cents of each jar sold will also go directly to the cherry farmers that grew them. Reagan and Stephanie join us from the Cherry Republic factory in Empire to see how they are finishing up the jars. These preserves are farm to jar in 24 hours. I'm here with Bob Sutherland, the president of Cherry Republic. Okay, we're really excited because we have the very first jar right here. Yes. All this right. is the first jar of the 2019 cherry crop. And our number one <laughs> is going on this jar. Right on the bottom. Some lucky customer is going to get this in about an hour in Glen Arbor. All right, let's go ahead and run it through. The first label is gonna go on that one. And so are you gonna label and put all the numbers on the rest of these yeah. right here? Here it goes. How exciting is this for you to see the first one go get labeled and be off? Let's go, so there it is. Pull that <laughs> Ta -da. off. It's a little warm. So it's not, the label is not sticking as well. Uh, but but that's just goes, hey, that shows how fresh it is. That absolutely <laughs> shows how fresh. But there it is. Each year we make a new label. And this year is real uh, authentically French. 
After all, French st stands nouveau in French is newest. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you change the name each year? Has it been the Nouveau Jam for quite some time? Always Nouveau. Yeah. Yes. And each year we do a different style of label. Well, now we can go ahead and start putting the rest of the numbers on. Here goes number two. Okay. Number three. Number four. Five. Well, we are going to make sure every one of these are numbered at least the first 50. Now you can go ahead and get your jar today at any of the Cherry Republic locations. We'll have all those details on our website, 9 and 10 newscom 748 Michigan this morning. Cherry Republic is urging people to get to one of their stores as soon as possible to get your hands on their 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. From the tree to the jar in just 24 hours and arriving to the store still warm from the Cherry Republic factory, this jam is made from the first cherries harvested this season. Adam has already got his hands on it, sliding into the coat pocket for later. Rankin and Stephanie join us from Empire to see where these jars are headed off to. The preserves are ready to hit the stores, and I'm here with Bob Sutherland, the president of Cherry Republic. Okay, there's a final touch that needs to go on this first jar of preserves. That's right. We take a special label that's handwritten because we don't know exactly when these will be picked and produced. So this was picked yesterday in 8-5 uh, and it is jarred today 8-6 in stores today as well. Wow, here it goes. That is the first one now. Someone's super special is gonna get number this one. This is number one. And then talk about this right here. Yeah, it's just not uh, new, it's nouveau. I love it. Nouveau <laughs> is French for newest, the first. <laughs> all right, so how many stores will you guys be taking all of these to? So I'm, this truck, I am taking these to Glen Arbor. Glen Arbor will get the first one of the year. Mm -hmm. And over here, Spencer is going to Traverse City, <laughs> and he's going to rush those to Traverse City. <laughs> Brett is going to Holland. Got just a nice about trip for him. Katie is going to Frank and Muth in <laughs> Ann Arbor. <laughs> and Andy is going to Charlevoix. Yeah. Finish them all out. Now, for those who are watching who are debating on whether or not they should go ahead and grab this jar preserves, why do you think that they should grab it? There is no fresher product in the market than this. And this is a celebration, and they're all invited to celebrate with us and all the cherry industry and everybody in northern Michigan because this is the first product produced across the country with the 2019 uh, Montmorency cherry. Our cherry, the Michigan cherry. Our ruby red morsels <laughs> of joy. I love ruby red morsels of joy. Did I say that right? That's right. <laughs> I like it. Okay, well we are actually going to head to Glen Arbor to see that first jar preserves head out the door. People have waited all the year for the cherries to be here in northern Michigan. Within 24 hours, Cherry Republic harvested the first cherries of the season and made their 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. Now they're ready to hit the shelves at all of the Cherry Republic locations. Reagan and Stephanie join us from Cherry Republic Factory or Cherry Republic in Glen Arbor as the first case of jars hits the store. This truly really is a celebration for everyone here at Cherry Republic. Here comes Bob. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a day to celebrate. This is the first product made with our 2019 cherry crop. Our cherries have made it through frost and pollination, through wind and cold, but they came together. It's a great crop. And I'd like to show you the 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. This was picked yesterday, uh, made into jam this morning, and it is still warm. How fresh can that be? And this first jar is a gift to this young lady right here. All right. Bob, how are you feeling right now? Oh gosh, I'm teary. <laughs> this is touching, you know it is. Gotta make beats here. Once a year, uh, we do this, you know, and uh, 
it's really a chance too for our customers to you know really get on the inside and and hear a little bit about how things are produced. You guys are doing something really special with farmers, but we are going to talk about that. Um, can you first tell me about the 25 cents that you guys are doing with these? Oh stars? yeah. So uh, somehow, uh, because we have a lot of cherries out there, for every jar, every cherry that we put in a jar this year, we're going to give the farmer, make sure that the farmer gets a living wage, which is 25 cents. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations for being able to display your brand new jar of preserves. If you're looking for more information on how you can snag your very own jar today, head to our website, 9 and 10 newscom I love the big announcement. I know. Everybody turns well, we stopped what they were doing. We didn't need the big doing. announcement because we've got ours right here. And you better believe that we will be digging into these. Yeah. For so. sure. My but I don't God. have any crackers right now to put this on. I think all we need is a spoon, like right. a plastic spoon. Oh, we'll just, just eat the whole jar. Right in there, right yeah. There, yeah. What yeah. do you think? I used to do that as a kid. Maraschino cherries. Mm. Right out of the jar. I'm really tempted, though. Maybe while Michael's doing the weather, we can sneak into the kitchen really fast. <laughs> You can do it at the desk. You don't have to sneak into the kitchen. I don't have a spoon. Use your fingers. No. We are humans. We have four fingers. We're not thumb. barbarians, though. We could be. Cherries are in season in northern Michigan, and Cherry Republic is making sure to give back to farmers with their new jam, the 2019 Montmorency Nouveau Preserves. It is the freshest jam made and jarred within just 24 hours, and 25 cents of each jar that is sold will be donated back to the farmers that grew them. Reagan and Stephanie join us from Cherry Republic in Glen Arbor moments after the first jar of jam made was given away. The Nouveau Jam is officially here in stores and I'm here with Finley and I'm here with Kathy. But Finley was the very first person to get the Nouveau Jam. Finley, what was that like when you got the first jar? I was very excited. Yeah, are you excited to try it too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, when he came in, were you confused what was going on? Yeah. Yeah, but now you're pretty excited. You have a brand new fresh jar. Was it still warm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kathy, let's go ahead and try a little bit of this new Montmorency preserves. Okay, so tell me, how exciting is this for you guys? It's very exciting for us. This is the third year that we've done this, and it's just a really great example of Cherry Republic and its values and just how much we care about our environment and the Cherry Farmers and it's just a great celebration and it's very exciting that it's fresh from the farm to yesterday to the table today. Okay. In just so 24 we, hours. Yes. Should we give it a try? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, it looks Ooh. so good. All right. All right. I'll let you take the first bite. Okay. Let's see. Mmm. Good? Oh yeah, we got we got the stamp of approval. All right. <laughs> that looks really good. Now you are actually probably one of the first people to taste that jar too. So that's yes. pretty cool. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, but you guys are also doing something really great for the farmers too. Correct. Uh, describe to me what that is again. So each jar sold, uh, we'll get a 25 cent token that will go into our vortex and then that money will go straight to the farmers. That's amazing that you guys are giving back in that way. Okay, the real question is, how long will these jars last on the shelves? Oh boy, <laughs> not very long, not very long. And they've gone out to all of our stores, so it's nice that everyone will be able to enjoy it throughout Michigan. Well, so. thank you so much. Okay, and you enjoyed it, it was good? And congratulations to Congratulations. <laughs> all right, well both, thank you guys yep, so much. What a great day, and hopefully you guys are gonna give it a try yourself. We are going to try on it. MTM we, Brunch. Uh-huh. You got to join us over on Facebook Live at 9.15. Mm -hmm. We don't have crackers. We don't have bread. We don't have we anything. We got spoons. Spoons. Just a spoon straight to the jar. Michael, you're going to be in on it, too. That's how you eat cherries. <laughs> you don't put it on anything. You just eat cherries. Well, right? babe, you can put it on crackers and no, stuff. But we're just going right for Lauren, it. All you the flavor. can't. Take a look at what we have outside <laughs> for you this morning.